Hey everybody, my name is Charles and today we are talking about the Wii music. Not 10 hours of the Me Channel theme actually unironically talking about the Wii music because to be honest, it's really good. <laughs> I thought we'd just take a few minutes to go through some of the compositions and sort of explain why like this stuff is, is, is great. And I think that's part of the reason why people have just grown to love it so much. And just before we get started, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It helps out the channel a ton and I really, really appreciate it. This music was written by Kazumi Totaka. Kazumi is a very accomplished composer who has been involved in the Nintendo universe for a long time. He has written a ton of different music, including lots of the music from the Mario series, as well as the Animal Crossing games. He has just produced so much great music for that world. Let's start out with, with perhaps one of the most popular ones, which is the, the Me Channel theme music. So something that I think makes this stuff really great is that it's it's really not that complicated. But at the same time, there are a lot of interesting devices inside of it. A lot of this becomes really clear when we remove it from the context of synthesizers and electric, you know, uh, piano sounds that we sort of know the tune as and simply look at it as the chord progression because that's where it's like, oh, this could almost be like like a Latin jazz standard or even a jazz standard just by nature of the chord progression. It's It's really nice. And just by the nature of how these themes are used, they're all sort of written with this open-ended, looping, never-ending sort of quality to them where they just lead right back into the top of the form and don't necessarily have a definitive end, which makes complete sense because while you're sitting there trying to, you know, uh, customize your me and make it ridiculous, there should really kind of be no very clear transition back to the beginning of something because it just, you know, makes it feel like it just kind of goes on and on and on. So it's written very cleverly in that sense. Let's take a look at the Wii Sports theme. Now this one is really interesting. It goes through some interesting melodic and harmonic changes and it kind of floats through a few different keys and again the result is it does that same thing as the last one where it can create a never-ending loop where it doesn't actually sound like it's resolving anywhere because the resolution is back to the top and then it's like what is it um Something like that. We use a lot of slash chords, which is, that's just allowing the bass line to move in a consistent direction. If you're not familiar with slash chords, basically you're seeing the chord slash note on the bottom. So for example, the first one we see here is this B add nine. So that's this. And then we're saying it's over D sharp, which is a beautiful, beautiful chord. Uh, and then, you know, we can we can kind of expand on that voicing and make it whatever we want Using those notes All right, let's play a little bit of this
So what's interesting about this is that although there are a lot of slash chords and it might it might seem complicated, um, it's really just like we said, it's defining the direction of the bass line. But but the chords that are actually going on here, they're really pretty simple. I mean, we just have B major, C sharp minor. So it's the one, two. This is basically the one again, just with the third in the bass. Minor six. This is pretty much the five, but we're just putting the third of that chord in the bass. And, um, you know, minor three, four. So it's very diatonic in the sense that it's just kind of using. So there's not really anything, you know, out of the ordinary. Um, and it's not until we get further into the tune that we start deviating from it in, to be honest, kind of quite unexpected ways. <laughs> And in this particular moment, the the rhythm and the harmony kind of like come out of nowhere because we have. And that took me, I, I was like, I was like, what is even going on there? What's actually happening is it's not really changing at all. The accents are changing because I guess there was a particular line. to get to the next place. It's 4-4, four, four. I wrote it here, as you can see, I, I, I put a measure of 3-4 and a measure of 5-4, which obviously equals still eight. It's just, it makes it a little cleaner, a little easier to, to, to look at and read. So then all of a sudden we're in this, in the key of C for about four bars. Oh, now we're setting up for a totally different key. <laughs> Now we're in the key of A. But again, we're sticking to this slash chord concept because we have the third of A in the bass, that's C sharp. Not staying there for very long at all. Now we move to the key of D flat. Now all of a sudden we're getting away from D flat because we've changed what would be uh, the one chord. We've made it a sus chord. And that kind of indicates, okay, we're going somewhere else. And then we jump over to another sus chord to set up the top again. And again, this is the same type of thing where there's not really like a definitive ending. It's clearly when you get to the bottom of the form, it's just setting up the top of the form again. So if you were gonna end this tune, it's kind of like, well, where, where would, where would you do it? Uh, I don't really know, but uh, it, it loops itself extremely well. And what a, what an interesting creative sequence of, of key changes. So let's move on. The other one that we're gonna do is the is the Wii Shop music. <laughs> So we got a, you know, we got a, uh, we got a little bassa thing going on. It's really nice. This to me is like perhaps the one that sounds the most like it could just be a jazz standard. It's just sounds really great on its own. Yeah, let's play some of this. For more breakdowns, more specific breakdowns of, of all types of different things, I would encourage you to go over and check out my Nebula channel where we do tons of exclusive content. As always, thank you guys for watching. Thanks so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video.